Uh, Ross has been catching up with a Hollywood superstar, Michael Douglas, of course. He's been transforming into Benjamin Franklin for a brand new series. I never thought I'd say, you look lovely in tights. <laughs> <laughs> I've been staying away from This is why it was my first period show. I can't believe it. Because my legs are so skinny <laughs> that I'm glad that, you know, Franklin had a little different dress than the French court. So uh, I kept everything at least a calf length, you know. <laughs> Didn't want to scare anybody away. I've been looking back at your work. It's the hair, isn't it? You it, go with it, the hair. It, it, it is. <laughs> the hair is usually where I start. Looking back over pictures like falling down when I had the buzz yeah. cut. Jack Nicholson always used to give me grief. He said, hey, what's with the hair stuff? I said, oh, oh, Jack, you should talk. I've never known it. But we had a fantastic shoot. Some wonderful English actors, Eddie Marins, uh, Danny Mays. And, did you see him in... in um, Guys and Dolls? Uh, Guys and Dolls. Sensational. It was yeah. great, wasn't it? Super. And Eddie Marsden playing John Adams, when he comes in, it's a little bit like a great tennis match, I thought. It, it, thank you, exactly. You look at parallels like to today, and here are these two guys, which you could, you, you could say were the beginnings of the opposition parties that we know today, but with all their struggles, it was always still about democracy. It was never about trying to kill each other. It was a struggle about, you know, how do we make or nurture this democracy? And I see today, you know, much more of the efforts of trying to kill each other in the parties rather than making the situation better. Yeah. I felt a little ashamed how little I knew yeah. about Benjamin Franklin. I mean, he was a rock star. It was incredible. I'm a writer, a publisher, a printer. He, he started the University of Pennsylvania. He started our libraries, a postman, and is an inventor. The reality was if he did not succeed, America would never have existed. And I think that's part of the story that people don't really uh, uh, understand or, or realize. How lovely at this stage in your career, you get this role and you go, he's a, he's a lot younger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ross. You can play that, you. and I love it, isn't that just It great? is, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm mean, going to play it. Your empty nest was nice. Yeah, really yeah, I mean, mixed feelings on that. We, we keep looking at each other and go, boy, I hope we can. Now we go, what else are we going to talk about? <laughs> so you get out on the golf course a lot, then? I am, and, you know, Catherine loves golf. Actually, that was kind of sort of the closer. We first got together, you know, things were looking good. I said, well, what do you think of golf? She said, oh, I love it. I said, you do? Oh. I said, this is too good to be true. Yeah. yeah, she's playing good. You're looking amazing. Big birthday coming up this year. Thanks, Ross. Yeah. No, no, no. You've all, no, of all the years, you've always said to me, age, just a number. And I've yeah. always appreciated that from you. You gave well, me you advice try. many years ago. Yeah, you can't, you can't really. But maybe that wasn't when Catherine was 25 years younger. <laughs> but. Oh, well, congratulations. I, I absolutely love this. Thanks, Ross. Your, your career just, it's going from strength to strength to strength. You're well, doing everything. Well, thank you. I, yeah, it's been a nice time. In the last few years, I kind of did things I'd never done before. You know, I, Kaminsky met a sort of comedy, oh. which I never really did. And then the Marvel, I never did green screen. And now I got a period. So I'm trying to cover all my bets. And, you know, all, you too, you look wonderful. Oh. Too tanned, you know. <laughs> Uh, I'm, the, I'm doing the, the Douglas here. I'm yeah, but very nice. Very, very, but the Brits are not going to be happy with you. You are very tan. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch the first three episodes of Franklin on Apple TV Plus today.